Alien Nation delivers on the housemarked promise of intense, finely honed, visually spectacular arcade carnage, but it also goes a few steps further. Its light action RPG hooks don't dig as deep as something like Diablo, but they do add a satisfying power curve to chase while blasting through a twin stick shooter that's prettier, more expansive, and more replayable than just about any other. Alienation's controls are sharp, enemies are plentiful and varied enough to keep a squad of up to four players busy, and of course, they die spectacularly for your pleasure. This is the stuff Housemark always gets right, and it's especially true here. Despite trading out its predecessor's reserved palette for gobs of Vegas neon particle showers and a much snappier pace, Alienation still preserves and builds upon Dead Nation's progression systems. Random weapon drops come fitted with banks of upgrade slots for you to fill in with various upgrade cores that affect damage, rate of fire, clip size, and more. You could ignore the colored slots and just stack one stat, or match colors for bonuses. Add in the ability to re-roll any stat or the sockets themselves, and there's a lot of potential to stretch the life of a gun while tailoring it to your playstyle. It's a little disappointing that every weapon of the same type looks and behaves in essentially the same way and that there are so few unique modifiers to set weapons apart aside from their raw damage output. But as simple as it is, this amassing of power provides the incentive necessary to get you and your squad of up to four scouring expansive maps for every chance at a good drop. Alienation's overall structure is surprisingly well suited to this. Maps are giant by arcade shooter standards, and though your first five hour run through the campaign will most likely be spent just completing primary missions, after that, the possibilities really open up. Special events dot the map, including encounters with elite mini bosses with random ability modifiers, horde ambushes, and the opportunity to raid alien hideouts for keys to highly rewarding one off UFO missions. Every time you clear the campaign, the difficulty ramps up even further, and together with the optional possibility of being invaded by high-level players for some impromptu PvP, it creates a seemingly endless incentive loop. Housemark's previous games have kept me coming back through the strength of their gameplay alone. Alienation adds a straightforward but enjoyable power chase on top, making its finely tuned arcade action all the more alluring. For more on Alienation, keep it right here on IGN. Captain.